identifying heavy and light objects. Hello children, I am the parrot. Welcome to this video. Let's see what we will learn in this video. Identifying heavy and light objects. Today Choto and his mother have come to play in the park. Choto wants to play on the seesaw. Mummy, come on, let's play on it. As soon as Choto's mother sits on the seesaw, after Choto, the seesaw tilts down on her side. Mummy, why has the seesaw gone down on your side? Choto, I am heavier than you, so this seesaw has gone down on my side. And you are lighter than me, so the seesaw is in the air on your side. Really, Mummy? Now I understood. So, children, did you see? Mother was heavier than Chotu. So the seesaw went down on her side. And Chotu was lighter than his mother. So the seesaw was in the air on Chotu's side. Today Chotu played a lot in the park. And he was hungry after getting back from the park. Mummy, I'm very hungry. Please give me something to eat. Chotu. There is an apple and a watermelon in the kitchen. Go and get it. Choto picks up the apple from the kitchen and brings it out. Take this apple, mummy. Now I will bring watermelon. Choto goes to the kitchen to get watermelon. And Choto tries to lift the watermelon. But he was not able to lift it. Choto goes to his mother. Mummy, I am not able to lift the watermelon. It's okay, Chotu. The apple is lighter than watermelon. So you picked it up. But the watermelon is heavier than the apple. That's why you couldn't pick it. Okay, Mummy. So children, did you see? Chotu could pick up the apple because the apple was light. But he couldn't lift the watermelon. Because it was heavy. This means all objects have some weight. Some are light and some are heavy. So children, that was all for today. In this video we learned identifying heavy and light objects. In the next video we will learn how to identify the heaviest and the lightest objects. Till then. Bye children! Identifying the heaviest and lightest objects Hello children! In the previous video, we learned how to identify heavy and light objects. In this video, we will learn how to identify the heaviest and lightest objects. Today, Chotu has to water the plants. Chotu is filling water in the bucket to water the plants. After filling the bucket, Chotu wanted to lift the bucket but Chotu was not able to lift it. I am not able to lift the bucket. What do I do now? Let me ask Pinky. Pinky, I am not able to lift the bucket of water. Now how do I water the plants? Chotu, the bucket of water is heavy. You will not be able to lift it up. You can get water in a jug. Okay, Pinky. This time Chotu fills the jug and goes to water the plants. Chotu picked up the jug filled with water, but on his way to water the plant, the jug fell off his hand. Oh, Chotu, what happened? Mummy, I want to water the plants, but this jug fell off my hand. Chotu, this water jug is heavy for you. Do one thing. You fill the mug with water. Sure, Mummy. 
this time Chotu fills the mug with water and he waters the plants. In this way Chotu was able to give water to all the plants. So children, can you tell me which is the heaviest object among these three? Yes, the bucket of water is the heaviest among these. And which is the lightest object among them? Your answer is right children, the mug is the lightest among them. Some objects are kept here, a handkerchief, a bed sheet and a mattress. Children, can you tell me which of these three objects is the heaviest and which is the lightest one? Yes, the mattress is the heaviest and the handkerchief is the lightest. Was your answer the same children? It seems you have learned to recognize the lightest and heaviest objects. So children, in this video, we learned how to identify the heaviest and the lightest objects. In the next video, we will see some common mistakes in identifying heavy and light objects which should be avoided. Till then, bye children. Common mistakes in identifying heavy and light objects. Hello children, in the previous video we identified the heaviest and the lightest objects. In this video we will see some common mistakes in identifying heavy and light objects. Today Chotu's uncle and aunt have come to his house. Along with them is their little child Chinu, with whom Chotu is going to have a lot of fun. Mummy, can I go and play with Chinu? Yes, Chotu, you can go. Chotu brings a balloon and his ball to play with Chinu. Chotu and Chinu first play with the balloon. Hold this Chinu, catch! Chinu holds the balloon. After some time, both of them started playing with the ball. But Chinu is unable to play. He misses the ball every time. So children, do you know why this is happening every time? That Chinu can hold the balloon very well but cannot catch the ball at all? Yes, you thought it right. The ball is heavier than the balloon. Chinu cannot catch the ball. And the balloon is lighter than the ball. Children, but Chotu cannot understand what happened. The size of the ball and the balloon are the same. But still, how did the ball become heavier than the balloon? This shows that it is not always necessary that the object that looks the same should be of the same weight. Did you see children? The balloon was light. So Chinu lifted the balloon. But the ball was heavy. That's why Chinu was not able to pick it up. Today is Pinky's birthday. Chotu goes to a shop to buy a toy for Pinky along with his mother. They saw a teddy bear at the shop. Chotu, let's give this teddy bear to Pinky. No, mummy. Let's give this piggy bank. Since this teddy bear is very big, it will be heavy. Hence, Pinky will not be able to lift it. Chotu, do one thing. You just try picking them. Okay, mummy. Chotu tries to pick up the piggy bank. But he is not able to do that. Mummy, this piggy bank is very heavy. I'm unable to lift it. Yes, Chotu, this piggy bank is heavy. Come on, now try picking this teddy bear. 
Choto picked up the teddy bear and he lifted it easily. Children, can you tell how Choto picked up such a huge teddy bear? Yes, piggy bank was heavy. Choto could not lift it. And teddy bear was very light. Choto picked it up very easily. So did you see Choto? Objects that look big in size need not always be the heavy. Yes, mummy, we will give this teddy bear to Pinky. She'll be really happy. So children, this means that objects which look big are not always heavy. And objects which look small are not always light. That was all for today. In this video, we learn about some common mistakes in identifying heavy and light objects. I hope you have understood this topic properly. Bye children!